Okay, in this video, we're looking at products and offers. And in Freshstore, these are two different things. So the concept might seem a little bit unusual to you, but it's not complicated. And it allows us to do some really cool stuff with products, price comparisons, multiple merchants, affiliate networks, all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look. And first we're gonna ask the question, what is a product? And it might sound like a stupid question, but there are no stupid questions. So let's take a look. A product has the content, the images, the key details of the product itself, but it doesn't have a price and it doesn't have a way to buy it. So that's the key difference in Fresh Store. So let's take a look at one of these products. Um, maybe this one, Ratchet and Clank. So by the way, I'm in a PlayStation Store, uh, which is video games, PlayStation video games, PlayStation consoles, controllers, all that kind of stuff. My laptop runs a little bit slow when I'm recording a video, apologies for that. And yeah, so this is the store. We've got all kinds of video game stuff. This is one of the video games called Ratchet and Clank. And this is the product. So this is the product record in your fresh store. And it has the title, it has the subtitle, it has all the content. It can have images, it has, yeah, the main content here, it has the meta title, it has the slug, which is the URL. So it's all the core information about the product, the reviews, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's take a look at that product directly so we can see what we mean. Um, just drag that over there, that, let that load. So the meta title that's coming up here and the content, which will now show on the page, the title, the subtitle, this like little sub subscript description, highlights, images, all that stuff is part of the core product itself, but the price is not, okay? So we'll talk, look, talk about the price uh, shortly. And yeah, that is the product. So the product always stays. The product and the URL always stays the same unless you want to change it. And it's not linked to any affiliate network. It's not linked to Amazon. It's not linked to eBay. It's not linked to Walmart directly, but it's the offers that are linked to Amazon and eBay. So let's take a look at that. As we go into the back into the products itself and we scroll down, we can see we've got multiple offers. So these are all from a different merchant um, or a different country. We have Amazon in the US, we have Amazon Germany, Amazon UK, eBay US, eBay UK, and Amazon Canada. And all these are separate offers and they all have a different price and maybe some other different um, characteristics like shipping time and shipping cost and return policy and all those things about the actual purchase of the product itself. So what that means is this core product always stays the same, but you can add and remove as many different offers as you want. And that allows us to do the price comparison, which you can see here. We've got the Amazon and we've got the eBay offer and they're entirely separate. And this is what's linked to the affiliate network. Okay, so that explains the difference between the two. The product always stays, the offer might disappear. So for example, Amazon might just decide to stop selling this video game or the one on eBay gets bought, it's an auction and it disappears and a new offer comes in from eBay. So we might have multiple offers from the same place, that's also possible. And the system, Fresh Store handles all this for you. So it's not something you have to go in and start adding and removing offers or anything like that. Um, it's all handled for you. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about why it's like this, why I designed the system of Fresh Store like this. And the reason is, like I mentioned before, the product stays forever. This is super important. If you start building backlinks to this product, you want that page to stay. You don't want it to be linked to this Amazon offer, which all of a sudden has disappeared. So that's one big reason. We want it to stay. We want to build our, um, yeah, our backlinks to it. We want to build social links. We want to link to it from different places. And that allows us to do that. The price comparison, which I mentioned before, that allows us also to do the price comparison because we can add and remove multiple offers. And another one that I haven't mentioned is we can think about selling this product ourselves. If we want to go into full e-commerce, we can decide that, you know what, I'm not gonna put the affiliate links on here anymore. I'm gonna change this page and I'm gonna add my own checkout link and I'm gonna sell this product directly. And you might wanna do that in some niches. That might be your goal to start with an affiliate store and then move towards e-commerce. And this allows us to do that without losing all this good link juice and traffic and credibility that we've got with this page. So 
that's the reason. Um, and yeah, so they're the main reasons why we designed it like this. So let's just take a little bit of a look at how we create a product. We can create a product in Fresh Store by going to the product section and creating a blank product. And yeah, like I mentioned, the video makes my laptop go slow. Um, you can do that from here. You can create a new product, you can click in and just start from scratch. Um, when you do this, obviously we'll have no offers at the beginning. So that is one way to create a product. However, most likely um, you will create a product by importing an offer, which we have a separate video on, but the option is down here and under AI tools and offer importer. So what this means is we're gonna go in here we're gonna search for offers on Amazon, on eBay, somewhere else. And we're gonna choose an offer and say, I want to create a product from that offer. But then they become two different things. You create a product and the offer is then attached to the product. Just like we've seen in, um, I close the tab now, but just like we've seen when we come down here and we have the offers section. So if we go in here, we search for PS5 uh, console, and we, yeah, choose that category. We choose Amazon. Um, just running through this quickly. And yeah, so we can see here, I've already imported th this product here. We can create a product from this offer. So this is an Amazon offer for this. This is actually a skin, not a console. If we cl click this button, it's gonna create that Products. It's going to use the information, but it's going to create a separate product and it's going to attach that offer to it. And then we can attach more offers or the system will find more offers automatically. So you can see here, which is the next point I want to come on to, is duplication. So in this case, I've already created a product with this offer and the link to it is, is here. Um, and that means if I do it again, I'm going to create a duplicate product. And that's just something to watch out for. It does make it clear here with the yellow instead of the green, it tells you that it's imported. Um, so yeah, one important point. We can attach and detach products, uh, offers from a product. So if I go into edit this product here, I can scroll down to my offers section and I can detach these, these offers if I want to. You know, if I want to say, I actually don't want to sell this one from from eBay for whatever reason, I can detach it from the product, or I can attach another product, another offer to the product uh, using this button here, and I can choose one from my store. Now going back to the offer importer, I can also attach an offer from here. So say, okay, I've got a PlayStation 5 console here, but I know I've already got a PlayStation 5 product, so I will attach it instead of creating a duplicate, duplicate product. So in here, um, I'm gonna type in console, so you see I've got different consoles here. I'll probably, um, yeah, choose this one and I would attach this one to here. Um, and then I've got more offers on that one given product. And one more cool thing that the system does is it will auto match these offers. So actually all these offers here, I didn't add them myself. I created the product probably with the Amazon US offer. And then the system found all the other ones from all the different other places. You have a button here to do that, auto find offers, but the system will do it automatically. It will check every day or two and look for more offers. And the way it does that is it uses identifiers. It uses the UPC or the EIN, which come from uh, Amazon. And these are unique numbers for that product. And then it uses that to find more offers. There is another video on that on exact match offers, which tells you a bit more about it, but let's go over just the key concepts of this. Products are separate to offers. Products are standalone and a product can have multiple offers and that allows you to do the cool stuff like the price comparison, wherever that's gone. And it allows you to have one product selling to multiple, with multiple different affiliate networks. And it allows you to keep this product page no matter what happens to the offers. And that's a crucial thing. So hopefully that helps you to understand the difference between products and offers in the fresh store world and a bit of clarification. And yeah, okay, signing out. Cheers.